Hey, it's Draco 401, which is, uh, not found. Draco not found. You mean Draco not found. What's going on, Draco? Brings you over to the F sharp corner. <clears throat> We've always thought F sharp and C sharp were similar, but they're really, they are really, they are really not. There's a, uh, you're not the first person to make that mistake. You are totally not. The first person there. You can write F sharp in a very C sharp way. You can do that. It's possible. Um, there's only actually so far you can do to go F sharp E with C sharp. There's 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 a lot that they've that they've added over the last couple of years to the different new versions of C sharp, especially in C sharp seven. <laughs> but um but yeah there's only so much you can do to go C sharp code in F sharp style. I can start with this one. Finish naming recipes. That I can do. That's important. All right. Nope. I love ducks. My creature is my recipe. Okay. Looking for. Cooked meat. Let's call it cook meat. And this is make. Make bone meal. Uh, craft. I like craft. I like craft. Several of these. Craft. Bone meal, craft bone meal. Oh, right, because I have to have one for every single type of doodad, every single type of tool. All right, this is ridiculous. All right, that is silly. I don't like it. basically the same yes so it's here's here's an item and bone 
generate bone meal. It's on a workbench. The name is whatever. So here's I get very tired of things. So I want boy. Step one. All right, I'm going to wind up doing some refactor work today because my recipes are very long winded and it's silly. And I wind up dude fussing with a bunch of uh, vertical white space. to the top. That's good. There's the body of it. Craft the bone meals. And what we need Source item, which is this one, and it generates bone meal. It's called that's really the only difference in that. All right, okay. So this will shorten this code significantly. Together, if I have more stone. Put my four, my four, five X's. No, 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 no. Make this a lot shorter. Well, kind of. Nugget. See, now I'm, I'm hesitating on the uh, on whether or not there's, there's something up above that this portion of the file that I kind of dread. That's the plant. Really here, the rest of this is copper, bronze, iron, mithril, and titanium. So I probably just get rid of these things. Copper, bronze, iron, mithril, and titanium. Copper, bronze, mithril. Got iron. Be sure to put iron before methyl for some reason. And unobtainium. And this is much, 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 much better. I think I wind up having to do the same thing for <clears throat> this one's a little more complicated. I don't know. I think 
here, making the fire just a flint. That one can stay. These are the ones where it takes a fire and it takes something else. And then um, it burns an item, right? And makes more fire. So we really just burn whatever that thing is. There's always one thing. There aren't too many of these. There's only two. So I'm going to hold off. I'm going to hold off doing that. So start fire. This one's going to be burn wood. Burn, burn logs. Burn log. We burn workbench. This one is sacrifice. Make sacrifice. It's a little bit cringy. Now these, they're all very much the same. So these I refactor into a nice little function up there. Static member private craft ingot is that guy. Shouldn't it could be a little not as far. That is an or 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 comma tool material. Tool material. Ah, spell it correctly, right? Plot this thing right there. Take this thing and plop it here. Craft whatever the third string is. Good. Tool material dot name adjective. Uh, good. Fantastic. Oh, this one's hard. It's hard to do. And I need. Hmm. Mm hmm. Because I'm going to do this. All right. Tool materials. Material list. No, that's not what I need. I only need one tool material. So I need ores. So I need an ore list. All right. And what's the time? It's time to fold. So, input is ors list.map on x item to item dot or x comma two oh Oh, there's star, star, you int, say two. Item count, say six. 
or count item or o followed by c Now we've got a list of that. And this dot friend. This thing. And then we can inventory of list it. And yay, it's all better. Yay. Now I can crafting, it's out of as many ores as I like. <clears throat> Ooh, and I do need um and terrain filter. Which is a terrain tool. And there's your terrain filter. Beautifully done. Let's go on down here. Not the fires, but the ingots. Like ingot. So it's recipe. Craft ingot. Have a list of things. This will be tool material dot cover terrain is furnace. Nice. Okay. We're just gonna have Beautiful, beautiful. It's so nice. It's way less. Oops, this is not fire. That's not fire. This is ingots. Copper, bronze, iron, mithril, and unobtainium. Copper, one, you. Tin, one, you. Iron, mithril, and unobtainium. <laughs> this one makes bronze. This one makes iron. This one makes mithril. And this one makes unopinion. And look at all these lines. I get to delete. Oh, I don't have the fire type. Hmm. Okay. You need the fire type. This is not that big of a deal. Fire. Yeah. It's going to break a little bit, but it's not that big of a deal. So these last two, which do take my fire. It have to be done at a, no, it had to be done at the furnace. It just used a different map, different type of fire.
See, so much better. So much fewer lines. So many fewer. So fewer. So much better. Do I need more? I do have more. Here's Log Quest. <sighs> okay, so I kind of got that done. But here's my problem. I just don't, I don't like this. This is This has become way more generic. <laughs> so, here's my problem. I want to take these lines, each of which is identical up until here until I reach, until I start to add an input. For this, so in reality, I've got a single product here. And then I want to mutate it based on a list of other items. Hmm. I don't have a good name for the function. And this is if you ever wanted to know what is a monad, this is, I believe, a candidate. Private. Uh, I don't even know my name for it. Do stuff because um, I don't know. Multiplex recipe. Um, optioned, uh, this multiplexed recipe. So I've got a recipe. Okay. And then I've got, um, items that I need to add each one of these things is an item list. It's going to output me a recipe list. Uh oh, you've stepped on you've stepped on my lawn. Well, if you're Let's see. Let's find out things about you. Let's find out things. You follow a lot of people. Okay. I'll be nice to you.
Oh, of course, I've now found a uh, I'm too tired to shoot you. Sorry. You can stay on the one. I don't care. Stay on the one if you want. <laughs> How's it going, Fates? Welcome to the stream. How are you doing this fine, whatever time of day it is for you? Recipe to, nope, can't. I have to, I'd have to make a bag. All right. On X. P. P. Dot. Add input. X. And I got, what is X? X is an item. Ah, uh, need more than one. Yeah, I'll put a count in there. Put it here. Do it this way. Item counts. So I can do here's item, here's count. And the item of the count. Oh, where's the and counts okay. Then I have done it. Good. Your stream seems to freeze, and so might not, so might not get every word. Uh, so it might be my internet. It might be your internet. I am not getting any dropped frames, so it's your fault. You. Yeah, I've got nothing. I got no dropped frames. So, so, free that I'm free sing. Oh, I'm just trolling. I'm a jerk. So, list that append. Manual list. So I need. I want to see that this works. That's what I want to see. Oh, wait. That append. Recipe dot multiplex. Recipe. Oops, I 
I can't I can't write it this way. This cannot be written this way. Doing it wrong. Doesn't need to be static. Oh, it's called multiplex. Doesn't matter, it's private. Actually, I will take this. And what did I do wrong? I'm appending. Crap the axe. Ah, uh, okay. I think this makes it work. Oh, 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 all right. I want you. All right, there we go. Now I got it. Got it, got it, got it. throw yes yes oh there's that okay great okay That's a really long list of hammers. Put that up here. Number, that's a static number. shorthand over here. Don't have to have this huge thing. I'll flex with the hammers. 
Yeah, dude. That is awesome. So I want to do a little bit better. Because... Ooh, I don't have... Because this isn't, this doesn't work. So rename hammers for copper. But once you hit bronze. Yeah, I'm just really I think I'm just really moving my vegetables around. I don't think that I'm not so much crap bronze, iron, and this roll. I believe this roll and unobtainium have the same. Do that. So the hammers for copper. You can use anything. The ones past that. So I can use them. I can use a copper so I can make the tool. And for iron, I can use bronze and beyond. Then for mithril and unobtainium, I have to use iron and above. Because this is how I force a tech tree. All right. So then... Browns, iron, let's get, get the other ones. Come on, all right, axes. Browns, iron, mess around, obtainium. Let's go over here. Let's do this. Get on down to here. So this is nice because we get rid of a geometric progression of things. So step one. Move you all the way back. Step two. Put these in there. Step three. Put one of these in there and then I'll switch to which hammers you get to use. Hammers for bronze. Iron. Roll and unobtainium. Oh, and still, I wish for meth roll. But now, even within this. Even here, even here, what I want to do, can I bring this down to one line? What's the difference? What is the difference? 
We do all of them out of furnace. What do we say? That's good enough for now. Is that good enough for now? All of my axes are gone. Other than other than these. I'm back to or do I still have the do I still put those in there? I don't know. And I don't know how ugly. Well, first, well, let's check the X. So, okay, I'm going to do this. Oop, I, need, I need uh, to plug in my. There we go. Here we are. Oh man. Yeah. Okay. Time to get around the back of the computer. Dusty back there. Should really clean that out. Really, really clean that out. Not gonna. <laughs> All right. So we can have our game pad. Go. There you are. Let's have a go. And so Oh, okay. I know it's what you you are come on to do your flint rock. What are you? Don't know what you are. There's an obtainium. What copper? Where's my copper? I need to have fewer of these quests. All right, let's fix this. Let's fix things. Okay, so these quests, quests, we should have a ten. And um, let's change the malachite. Ka, ka, ka. <sighs> There's some. That's perfect. Take one of those. Set it down. Take one of those. Okay, so we make that. That's cool. Go. I actually can mine. Well, that's cool. But now I need, I need some flint. Where's my flint? Your flint, right? Please be flint. There we go. have enough. Okay, 
make that. Oh, right. Oh, do it. Kill it. I kill myself here. Okay, so I need one fire. One of those. To it. Place it. Man. Man. Okay, let's make some more fire. Let's burn some ingots. So now I need what I need. I need a hammer. Make whatever kind of hammer I want. Do a flint hammer. But I don't see my oh, it's cause. Okay. So, it does work. It puts it really... So that'll work, and that'll help. And that'll, that'll bring me down to way fewer lines of code. It's going to make the crafting screen incredibly ugly, so I'm going to have to come up with a way of sorting them? <clears throat> Yeah, I'm going to have to come up with a way of sorting them. I suppose that's all right. As long as it's just consistent, it doesn't really much matter. So that's great. So that works. All right. Because this is what I really want to have. <clears throat> so now... So we're now down to five lines for each of the metal axes. Got picks, spears, knives. Spear, knife, hammer. Is there a hole in here somewhere? Okay, so now, well, I just added a whole lot of lines of code there. I get to delete even more lines of code. There we have it, and up to get shovel. I need shovel. Knives I got. Shovel, don't forget shovel, don't forget shovel. Don't forget shovel. That's great. And shovel. And <clears throat> what is a cool way to, what is, anyway, to sort? <clears throat> and our description seems like Seems like a way to do it. <clears throat> and so now I have to well, let's let's do it again. Let's let's see if we can craft some of these other things. And if we can, then we consider it successful. I 
to move on from this task. Dude. Okay, digging the log. Okay. Put down the workbench. Okay, that's all right. So, oh, hey there. That's alphabetical order, all right. I don't mind. Let's. I need another axe. Axe is what I really need first. Then I need one of these. And I'll get the iron ore while I'm at it. Oh, copper ore. It's not iron. I'll do it. So right now, make the furnace, put it here. Can I make start fire? Give me one fire. So how do I make more fire? Making more fire. Burn log. Those are the tops. Okay, that's good. Actually, that's way better. Let's, let's make some more of these. One, two, three, four, five. What else do I need? Need a hammer. Well, yeah, one plus, okay. So I organ, oh, that's not bad. I like that, kind of. Gives me the type of something. I want the hammer. So now I can make things. Copper axe. Oh, they're all called craft copper. Uh huh. Oh, because I. All right. So we need to fix that. But other than that, that's all right. Okay, so that works. Like it a lot. Like it a whole lot. Which one we got? So this is so then pick spear. Pick spear knife help. Hammer shovel. Oh, oh. Hammer shovel. So Yep. Do this the old fashioned way, the double click paste. Yes, could I select? Could I move within? Uh, could I change things within a selection? I could. There's only five. Is there a more optimal way to do this? Absolutely. I know a guy. I know a guy who would do that. He's like, nope, we are. Okay, so that works. Yeah, that's right. I'm not going to try it. I'm going to assume it works because I've got no reason to think that it doesn't. Oh. Oh, what is finished naming recipes? Issue number forty-nine. 
closes. I want to see if this works. 49. I don't know if it does. Is that going to happen? Is that going to happen? Oh, it does. Yay for me. <sighs> so, hmm. Up and let's restore. The Atlas cell thing back to 100. It should go back to what it's supposed to be. So, one of the consequences of um, one of the consequences of yesterday's. Thing. So trap preps recipes make no sense. I'm thinking I'm going to make it where you cannot actually uh, make your own traps. That's make your own spear. That makes sense. Traps are. I made it so that you. I think you can. So it's okay. You can buy it. But where can you buy it? So, if I remove my ability to make I remove the ability to craft traps because the trap recipe doesn't make any sense. And I limit Limit it to the to the log merchant. Where's the log merchant? So it's the sorry. So is it from two input input input? Okay. What if I say that you can oh, well wow, that sucks let's make a simple trade oh wait no you know what um fur trader Let's make a new let's make a new trader type. Uh, items trader. Or, Now we need to be able to also generate these things. So when I generate a trader, create trader, where are you? Okay, so go in here. A trader in fur. Okay, so fur trader. You buy your traps from the fur trader. What what money is he interested in? He's more interested in uh, uh, 
All right. Okay. So he is way more interested in in trading fur. So he's really interested in. I'm going to need to do this to start with. Yank all this stuff out. Is trader. But I need to change my is trader. So, oh my goodness, there they are. I will wait patiently for the advert. Come, come on. Hello. So, off you go. You B, you can spell. What are you spelling? There's, there's no word either cab pow or where, where would the B go? Or just kapow. You're looking for kapow. All right. I, I think the sound ones, I think the sound words, you get, you get a lot of latitude. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Oh my goodness, look at you. <sighs> well, that's important. Well, anybody can spell. It's about spelling well. Can you spell well? <sighs> okay. <laughs> You people. You know, it doesn't matter. Because um, I think once I have 10 people chatting all at once, I suddenly get more VIP slots. So spam the channel with all of your... Uh, I get more VIP slots, I think, when 10 people chat. So do it. Spam, alt, do it. Just... Have it be like, have it have it be like uh, how it is when Twitch plays Pokemon. Do it. Get going. Oh, okay. so she's she's pleased. You're pleased with your diamond. Okay, good. Because like, oh, hey, I got diamonds. I should really should really do something with these. Trader type. True. Oh, okay. What? Okay. Don't tell Genso, but if I had one VIP slot and the two of you to choose from, I'd pick. Who do you think I'd pick? Because I'm not stupid. It's to uh, well, that's one thought instinct. Was it, is Ellie on? Is, is the dog on Twitch? <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be, I'd pay the dog. No space bar, no no spaces, cuz no thumbs. But poor dog, poor poor dog. Yay! Just 
created. I'm making ugly code. I'm gonna I'm gonna use type inference just to show everybody how ugly type inference is. I don't think I've shown a lot of type inference on my on my screen because I tend to avoid it. This this is type inference. It's where I put this little T. What's a T? You don't know what a T is. It allegedly F sharp figures it out. It it doesn't it it doesn't always do a good job, which means then whenever it's like doesn't really know what this is, it underlines all of your code, all of it. But then, it's too many arguments. The terrain is trader. Um, trader dot fur. So it is not trader request. What's the problem? So it is not trade. So actually, it is not trader. I can't. To make a stupid function called is not trader. Not trader or nope, I just so it is. Rats of frizz rats. It's making me grumpy. Poorly refactor everything. Whoop. Now we have to X the terrain. F sharp does look weird. You look weird. No. Oh. I, I have no idea. I really have no idea. I got nothing. It does look weird. It is a strange, strange beast. One of those goofy curly braces that people have all the time. Funk eagle. Mm. You well, let, me, let me find a good function call. If I can find a good function call, let's see here. Um, you, I don't need a. All right. Well, I'm calling a function here. Um, pretty good place. So, like right here, is this a function call? <laughs> I'll zoom in on it. It doesn't help, but I'll zoom in. Okay, so here's direction, next position. All right, all right. It's it's well, well welcome to F sharp class with the with the grump. So here's direction next position. Going to the definition of it, <clears throat> it takes you're gonna blow your mind. This takes two parameters. This is one parameter. I will let that sink in. This is one parameter. And this 
is the second parameter. And this is the return type. Everybody with me? Now, <clears throat> Uh, this just means it's a tuppled type. So it's a, uh, let's see, the C sharp version would be tuple int int is what the return type would be. Now, put this right over here. So we don't need to do that at all, do we? Because back where I was, if I peak my definition, right? So my first parameter is world.avatar.position. No, F, F sharp's all about the tuples, man. But, and, our, and our tupling is much more, it has greater syntactic sugar than C sharp. So my first parameter position is what gets put into this parameter. And then it also takes a direction. So world.avatar facing, this thing pipes it. This thing, what this thing does is it pipes it over here to the end and passes it here as direction. But so we don't, we, the, the, I can, there are places where I can do functions kind of like like right here, where I pass, this is one parameter, one parameter, it is a one, two, three, four, a six tuple. Um, the, the whole, the use of the piping operator Hey, where's a where's a good spot where I can really actually the, pl the place where it's best to show is here where I'm documenting things. Here's my little documenter. Let's see if I can find a good chain. And can I find one that's easy to that makes a lot more sense? All right, right here. See, a lot of times. The thing, the thing that's at the end, let me show that to you. Okay. I don't have to return anything. I don't return things. Um, so whatever the thing at the end is like, okay, right here in this, I, when I update my verb, I take the world and I get the avatar creature and it finds a creature, then great. Okay, looks for these things, do, do all this other stuff. Otherwise, just return world. This is, match is more or less like a really powerful switch statement. And then these are cases, and this one with the underscore is more or less default. And it just returns world, which is the return type up here. I should really have simpler code if I'm going to be showing things. This is not simple code. This is, this is horrifyingly complex. So yeah, it takes some getting used to it. It takes some getting used to. But so the reason that I pipe things is I start with the world, I get that, I do this, and then I sort it by that, and then this is what I'm. This is the line that whatever's after this. Is what I return, and that's uh, a monad. Monads. I'm using the term imprecisely. Is F sharp used a lot? No. No, <laughs> it's not. Um. And the reason is because um, 
it's uh, not as approachable as C Sharp or other languages where you just assign things everywhere. Because okay, right? The the weird thing is that um, let me show here. There's I don't ever assign. There's there's only like a couple places in this code where I actually assign values to things, and they're they're all here. They're the the equals the equals operator only compares. The this is the assignment operator. It's a it's an arrow arrow pointing arrow pointing left, and there are one two three four five assignments that's like a reverse point but that's a take that value and put it over there and in order for that to even take place it has to be called mutable and I only have four mutable things in the entire uh, this is in the entire application everything else is not mutable and mutable means this I can actually assign values with everything else, with, with anything that is not mutable, I cannot assign a value. Because if, for example, um, where's a good spot? Here in program. It's okay. We'll do this. Go let n be one. Okay. I'm going to, it's going to infer the type. If I go n two, Nope. No, 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 you can't do that because N is one. Now I can say let N equal two, but you can even see here that this gets hidden. This gets, un this is unused. So anywhere between here and is one and N is two. But it didn't actually change the value of n. It completely, uh, this n has disappeared. So it got rebound. So there's only one binding. It's like, uh, it's like doing um, math. So there's, it's, 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 it, when, when a person is like a C, or a, C sharp developer, it's not easy to transition over. And most F sharp developers don't really like helping other people learn. <laughs> it's just, it is a, uh, it's not as bad as, uh, not as, not as funky as Haskell. Haskell is, huh, Haskell is the top of the, functional food chain at the top of the ivory tower. So what in the world was I doing? I was making, I'm making a fur merchant. That's what I'm doing. But yeah, I'm happy to answer questions. I don't know how well I will be able to answer many of them because there's a whole, this is, um, this is right in the middle of, um, Some F sharp, the F sharp way, and the well F sharp my my particular take on the F sharp way, which is which is different than how a lot of people use it. There are a number of F sharp developers who go that you're doing it wrong, because to them I am, and that's fine. So what am I am I building? Can I build? Oh, it does it doesn't build. Oops, it has too many arguments. And it is not right here. What? Well, the question is not oh, I don't actually need a trader type. Okay. But important thing that you'll see here is I don't have curly braces to start and stop this. 
Let me, let me do this. Let me make... Can I do these? No, I can't do those. Let me do this. Okay, so this member instance not trader. You would have C, C sharp, right? Public is not trader. Actually, I don't even know how you do that here. Eh, we'll say you'd probably make this a getter. Uh, we'd make it a getter, so in F-sharp 5, you would have this. Nope, couldn't do it. This is a discriminated unit. Bad example. Ignore me. Something else that has... Okay, so here are these things, so get, here we go, get item count. <sighs> ah, actually, like right here. No, that's no good either. I'll keep thinking, because there's this, <laughs> I wouldn't write the same code in C sharp. I would not write the code this way. So that's only, and I want a fur merchant. And I'm only here for another half an hour. Okay, so the fur trader, he will give you for Okay. He will give you a wooden trap. Material dot wood. Does not have trap. Tra tool. Uh, tool dot trap. Yep. Okay. How in the world? All right. Item tool, tool hammer, ah, oh, okay, it's a comp, okay. It's toppled. Okay, so that's a tool. I look at the definition of that, because that's, that's interesting. So, this is a discriminated union, which is kind of like an enum, but not really. So this thing can have a value of a tool, and associated with it, there's what tool it is and what the tool material is. Everybody great? I'm thinking I should make some uh, some lower key things. I should make some little, here's how f trap works. I made those years ago, but I haven't done it for Twitch yet. I should have a, like, uh, F, F sharp class at whatever time Genso goes to have lunch and work out. So, I want for a berry. For what does he get? What does this guy? What will this guy take? Let's say he's going to take log. He's going to take. Ten of them. But so you have ten logs. You take it over to the trap merchant and what do we call this? Where's my trade? Bull trade. There's like logs for wooden traps. Ten logs 
or one good trap. So this is very straightforward. And so let's go find this guy and get him. And see that it works. Come on now. All right. So let's get the 10 lives. Let's see if we can find all these guys. Or do I have to make them? I think I have to make it much more, uh, much more common. I do. Because I'll probably sit some hunting all day for him. Trader. Okay, there he is. Can I... No oh, crap, why that's good. Which means I gotta get his... Huh. Uh huh. No. I don't want that trade. I want that trade. Hmm. I think I'm doing this wrong. Trade wood, so simple trade. Where's this go? Go to the definition. So by simple trade, if he's a that's the trader type, then. Oh. Okay, what are you? You are hot X. Terrain. Terrain is trader type is trader. And where's my trader type? I totally did that wrong. Boom. Okay, that'll work now. That'll work. That'll work. My wood merchant, well, so so I can do those trades. Looking for the fire he is There's two of them. So well, we can do that. Great. Go here. I still haven't fixed this garbage yet, but drop that. Come on, go, go over there. You want to go over there? I know you want to go over there. Come on, man. Come on, go, go. Yeah. Got him. Cool. All right, caught me a rabbit. So then, is that one simple? Oh, 
Oh, so, okay, I need an initial trade token. I need, yeah. What I want is the thing that you give. I think I can represent this in this way. So you have 10 of these, 10 of those, and then you have the input token count of zero. No, it's L. And then the output is that. There's only one of them. And the number of output tokens is one is a fur trader. I think that gives me my oh no. I am dot rabbit pelt. So he will give you you have one rabbit pelt. And doesn't care, doesn't care. Because you'll only be able to get one. So then one rabbit pelt for one tool. So that's usually so you never you can never multiply. And then they, you know, so you can always give them ten logs. But the thing is. Hmm. So here's here's what I'm trying to accomplish. What I want is for the ability to trade a log for a trap goes away after a few times. So what I need there's a where's the add input? Thing called add input over here. I think I also want to add forbidden. So, oh, forbidden. So I need to make another um, another weird item type. The trade to I can make a trade token with a quest flag. <laughs> it's sort of like it's quest flag. Quest flag log, quest flag. It's not, it's a it's getting goofy. I'll leave it as, you know what? I'm going to leave it as a quest flag for now. So quest flag for oh, for trading. For trading. So, about to add some goofy complexity. So 
of this, which is the, I will add a forbidden tag. Recipe, add forbidden. An item. And five view. An item. Quest flag. Quest flag dot for trading. But what it's also going to give you when you come in here and you do a trade for this. Whoop, I also need to add an output item. Come on, where are you? Adding an output. The trade is no longer simple. Add forbidden and add an output. Now we're doing this a couple times. So we're going to do this. B dot add output. Request flag. Request flag. For trade. One view. Some people are starting to wake up upstairs, so I may need to go at any time. That's your fair warning. And the first story. Okay. So you can get five traps. Five traps. And you can So then when you have let's say you can okay, you get two rabbit pelts. Here, I have another trap. Because he needs to profit. He needs to profit. So if you'll start with a loss leader. Or really, I may need a, an exchange rate. I don't know. In that case, gotta go test this. So five times so fifty wood, I should be able to get this recipe five times. I should be able to get five traps, and then I should be able to get not anymore. So if I go in, I get sixty wood. Here's the here's the guy. Okay. Sixty wood. I should be able to go in here. And buy two, three, five, and that disappears. Fantastic. So now I got five traps. So he's mostly interested in all right. Let's put him put him back in his normal thing. So we're gonna have to make some make we're gonna okay. Winding down now. Going to Set this back to what it's supposed to be, which is 50. Going to hmm. 
this week's I gotta update my trap recipes make no sense. So I, this one I can do, I can say it closes number 45. They don't make any sense. But what this spins off into closes number 45. Yes, let's save it. Let's actually build. Build. And we're all fine. Give it that. Push it. And then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to update the documentation over here. Because I've got an absolutely awful way of auto documenting, we'll just start you. Then I'm going to go over here, and this one should say it's closed. It's closed. I like it. Check in comments that close issues. Fishmonger. I'm just looking at point release two. I don't know. So this is the big one. This is the one I really got to get to doing. So, new issue. Um, Door Trader. Okay. 10 logs for one trap. Trap. Limit five. One pelt or one wood trap. Limit how many times? Well, maybe the wooden traps. I think the way that I want to have to do this. Limit five times. Two pelts. Maybe we can do that forever. So what we, what we say then is a wood trap is worth really five uses. We'll, we'll put that there. So ten logs, five wood traps. I do that. I can do that five times. Maybe I can only do it one time. I don't know. So I get five wood traps. I limit that once. So one time. I get five traps. Five traps. I get five pelts. Two pelts for five traps. So then I go to. Oh, I'm going to do this. Okay. So I take my five wood traps and I capture four pelts. I've captured five pelts. And I get five more traps. I have one pelt left. So it's like getting your card punched at the Starbucks. And then you do that five times and you will have <laughs> so you do it four times. You get twenty five traps. Okay. So that's this is an this is an economics I can get get down with. Um But, so now, let's get, let's get nutty. Here's a stay of 10 pelts for 10 stone traps. Ten stone traps will wind you up with do nine pelts. So you can, you can do the <laughs> 
and 14 pelts for 15 flint traps and so on like what are my what are my normal normal amounts okay so we change a bunch of things have it felt Ooh. Check that stuff in. Tell you what. Updated documentation. Of course, that's the only thing I ever check in for. And so on. Check the usages for tools and divide by five. Click release 02, I'm going to submit that. So that's a good one. I like it. So here's my wiki. My item list. The rabbit pelt on. Got lots of them. Where's my rabbit pelt? Rabbit pelt. Rabbit pelt. So item is an output. Uh, meat. What? Hmm. Oh, Not with it. Uh -huh. My recipe list. What happened? Is rabbit felt of MD? What are you? Oh, ha! We need to push. Dear sirs, please push your changes. Don't just check them in. That's right. Rabbit pelt for a wooden trap. Yeah. These things need to be changed so that you don't see them. Because you get this whole idea of a fur trade token. So do I leave that in for the documentation? Do I not? I don't know. I think we're all winding down now. So I think I'm going to go get some coffee. And I think I'm, I've got it at a good spot. So. Who remains? Let's go find somebody. Let's go find them. I have who's that guy? Let's find a dude. Who is cool? Do I know any of these? No. Just plop you in a <laughs> plop you plop a couple of lurkers in a Russian channel. Why not? Well, all right. All right. Are you going to talk? Do you talk? I it does. So let's go back to this. this. I think there's possibly in that phase. I'm reading. Um, what do you do about it? This thing. Here we go, everyone. And this is because calculated 
Thank you. Those shortest paths are expensive. What could flip it on its head? 